Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroading tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. One thing that can be a real frustration when you're working on track work is trying to work on soldering joints or feeder wires on the back side of your track. Trying to touch up paint and other details on the back side of your track can be a real problem too because it's so difficult to see the back side of your track. I want to show you a micro tip about how to better see and thus more efficiently work on the back side of your track. It begins by asking your wife or your girlfriend for an old eye makeup case and you want to remove the makeup mirror out of that case or compact. This mirror is going to be a huge help as you try to work on the back side of your track. This tool begins with the simple mirror out of a compact or a eye makeup case and then what I've done is I've taken just a block of wood, in this case just a scrap of 1x2, and I hot glued it to the back of the mirror. Now I intentionally made my block a little bit shorter than the mirror, and I glued it a little bit off center with the hot glue. And I flushed it up on one end with the edge of the mirror. And what that does is that allows me to use this mirror at different angles. If I want the mirror straight up and down, or if I want a slight angle, I can turn it over like this. If I need a little more angle, I can turn it to the shorter side sideways, or the most angle to the long side sideways. And I can get different angles of, uh, of a view depending on what uh, exactly I'm working on and uh, what I need to see uh, whenever I'm using the mirror. But as you can see, when you set this mirror up behind the track, uh, you can get a great view of the back of the track. You can see exactly what you're doing. If you're soldering on feeders or soldering joints, or maybe you're on a curve that you can see from both sides and you need to paint the back of that rail, you can come in here with a brush and you can see what you're doing to, uh, to touch up paint or to paint the back of the rail. Anything you would need to do back here that's out of sight, this mirror is a great help for that. This work mirror can be a real godsend when it comes to trying to do solder joints on the back sides of your track or touching up paint or other details. You're going to want to give this a try. This micro tip is brought to you by the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest. <laughs>